everyone welcome back to another video here on the channel today we're gonna do our makeup and we're gonna chit chat talk life update what's actually going on i have been gone for a bit but i'm back um before i get started yes i'm wearing contacts these are the solotica um Avelas. so if anyone's wondering i'm wearing Avela. i'm gonna start off by doing my eyebrows for that i actually started using the benefit precise my brow pencil Preci precisely my brow pencil more okay listen when i tell you guys i was so against brow pencils like for the longest time i was like i'm always gonna use the pomades like it's so difficult to just work with a, a pencil have i changed my mind yes i have like this is actually god's gift to humanity um by the way i'm going through um a process of kind of growing out my eyebrows i'm not gonna pluck them for like i'm gonna say this but like until this summer hopefully um i'm gonna be able to do that if not i'll update you guys but anyway i'm really um uh, looking forward to get like full brows and not having these thin sperm like brows no more okay let's chit chat what have i been doing what's been going on where have i been gone from youtube it's actually so funny because yesterday i put this picture up on my instagram and when i tell you people went crazy up in my comments in my dm sending me messages diana are you pregnant diana are you pregnant diana oh my gosh are you pregnant like everyone's just going insane like like i wanted to be like fuck oh my gosh i actually fucked up it looks like i'm pregnant in the picture and like kind of explain myself but then i was like you know what let everyone think i'm pregnant like i might as well but like that was really not my intention like uploading that picture i didn't even think about it like i thought i was looking cute in that in it like my hair is looking fleeky i'm wearing red lipstick i was like it's very appropriate to upload it now because like christmas and stuff but like everyone thought i was pregnant and like I'm not even gonna blame you because it looks like that <laughs> kind of plus my emoji I put like a little um balloon and stuff in there like everyone's gonna think I'm pregnant obviously Dana what do you think I can relax I'm not pregnant I would not get pregnant until literally like I have all my shit together like it's so important to not bring babies into this world without being stable like it's a whole topic like you can sit and chat about it for hours my opinion on that is it's very very um selfish to bring other human into this world knowing you can't give them the best some people totally don't agree with me and that is okay like honestly but like i think it's more selfish to keep a baby and bring into this world and let it live its life not being able to provide everything i think that's more selfish than to do an abortion doing an abortion it's not good i'm that's not what i'm saying i'm really against abortions and stuff like honestly from the beginning just fucking protect yourself like really though guys like protect yourself don't think oh my god i'm just gonna do an abortion it's fine no it's not like we're talking about real stuff like you're actually going to get pregnant and then what you're gonna go do an abortion like that's not fine no it's not like protect yourself guys if you're gonna go do stuff but like i don't think you should ever bring babies to this world if you can't give them the best i've got myself a new brow setter is that what you call it i don't think so but anyway it's from mac and i got it in the shade quiet brunette I really enjoy this because it kind of gives your brows texture as well like it's not only a brow setter like it actually kind of makes your brows look thicker okay guys as you know i kind of um have recently gotten into a relationship like it sounds very intense now that i'm saying it but like really i've been dating this guy and we're kind of at a point where like we're in a relationship like it's getting really serious and i am so 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 in love like <sighs> if you guys have been in love you know what i'm talking about like you can literally feel butterflies in your stomach when you see this person he just makes me feel like the best version of myself like he brings out the best versions of me it's so funny because the other day i was like baking 
and my mom just got home from work and she came to me and she was like standing beside me kind of cooking and stuff and she was like because obviously she's realized or not realized but like she's noticed going out a lot like doing stuff coming home late not always being home anymore so obviously she's kind of like noticed something's changed but like i've been very very honest with them for the past few years like if anything happens i tell them so like i think she would expect me to tell her if i'm dating someone so she didn't mention anything like for the longest time but like this day yeah i'm baking and she comes to me she stands beside me and she's like she's like oh you're baking and i was like yeah she was like are you gonna bring one of the cakes for your boyfriend and i was laughing because like do you know when you get nervous and you're not sure about what they know it is like huh, like kind of laughing awkwardly trying to figure it out but like i was literally laughing like <laughs> like mom tell me more what do you know about this and she's like no diana like you can tell me if there is anything and i was like there is nothing mom like honestly and she was like the reason i'm not telling her this is just because i know that she would kind of or at least i thought i knew that she was gonna kind of like be a bit more over me like be like where are you diana what time are you coming home like being a little bit more curious about where i am and stuff which like in reality i don't need that right now i just want to be able to like see him and kind of date him and get my opinion about him and then i can decide if he's the right or not so like i was like i'm not gonna tell them like it's not necessary it's too early in it anyway so she was just laughing and stuff she was like you know you can tell me that and i'm like i'm not gonna limit you from seeing him and stuff like you can tell me and i was just laughing like not knowing if i should actually open up and tell her but then obviously i did so i told my mom everything about this guy and she was like well if if you like him that much then obviously continue to see him but like i don't want you to play like i don't want you to just be with him and like then then like break up because she knows about my previous relationship like i've been with one guy before and she knew about it and like in our culture you can't just walk around having different boyfriends and like being with different people like no it doesn't work like that like for my parents to know about two guys at this point it's even a lot so she was like um she was like i want you to be serious if you're like if you like him don't just try him and then like break up obviously but that also got me thinking a lot because now that my parents know is much more serious like i'm not saying i would ever plan to break up with him or anything but like say if something doesn't go as as planned in it like it's 2018 shit happens you break up you continue with your life and stuff like it's very difficult like for my parents to know about two guys but like in their time like when they used to be young and shit they you they didn't date and stuff like they just got into marriage and they just got married and that's it like my parents didn't date each other before getting married like it was literally seeing each other one time on a picture and then getting married so obviously things have changed and stuff but like it's still too much for my parents to know i've been with two guys at this time anyway so my mom knows about him my dad knows about him um we're seeing each other literally every day guys like i'm hanging out with this guy 90 percent of my time we'll make it work somehow every day like if we really can't see each other we'll still make a way to see each other like he'll come to work pick me up he'll take me to work like he is so 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 nice you guys like i don't think i can ever like actually put it into words and it's so funny because he's also like youtube interested in stuff and it makes me so excited because for the longest time i've been trying to manifest a boyfriend who can actually be my youtube boyfriend as well like not just a boyfriend who's like low-key and shit like someone that's actually like interested to be on my channel do tags with me even start his own channel like vlogs and stuff travel vlogs like i am so excited for the things we've got planned and for the things we keep talking about like because he he obviously he watches all my videos like he's watching this right now like babe <laughs> for my lid you guys i'm gonna take the peach sweet sweet peach Too faced palette and i'm gonna take the lushes this is my favorite eyeshadow in the whole entire world like this one for my lid it's so popping um 
I'm gonna take it like that and just put it on my lid. Um, by the way, you guys, I went to London the other day. It was so random, like just for a couple of days because um, I feel like doing it. And also Adina, like my best best friend, she's gonna move home to Sweden after two years of living in London. Finally, I'm having her in Sweden. I'm so excited, but yeah, so I went to London and basically we went out clubbing and i got the world's worst panic attack like started crying and shit when i tell you that is not something i would do clubbing i've changed so much like i think it's a big part of like being like meditating and stuff recently put me in such a peaceful place that like when i went out everything just stressed me so much like my soul is so calm right now that whenever i put myself in a situation where like there's loud music people dancing and being drunk and stuff i just get stressed out and i don't really know why like i don't think it's a good thing because obviously there's going to be times where like you need to go out like friends are going to have birthdays and stuff and like for me to like not for me to not being able to do that it's like so questionable because what's changed like obviously i'm much more calm but like still i would expect to still be able to do these things i was just like what am i doing at a nightclub like this is not the type of place i should be hanging out in and I know it's so dumb to say as well because like you need to be able to be without the person you love but like it's still it's just too much like in my mind it was just like I've done all of this like I'm done with partying and going out clubbing like honestly I'm so done with it like I don't want to do it anymore it's not fun like honest guys so being at such environment I just I just felt so shit so I called him and I was like I went home to my friend I cried literally all night like a baby. By the way, you guys, in London, I went to Huda Beauty um, Selfridges because, like, my friend, she recommended Huda's um, concealer. She was like, it's so good, it's bomb and stuff. So I went to grab it while I'm in... Um, okay, so before I tell you guys this, lately I've been getting so many people coming up to me and, like, it just shows that it does pay off to be more frequent on YouTube. Like, I noticed so many much, what? I noticed so many people coming up to me lately. It's like so amazing. But anyway, this day I was at Selfridges, like literally looking at makeup. And this sweetest girl, she's like looking at me for so long. Like, and at this point, like I kind of know when people are looking, it's because they usually recognizes me, recognize me. She was looking anyway, and I was like, I was like almost coming to a point where like I'm gonna look at you and be like, hi. So she's looking and she 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 keeps looking and she I think she's like kind of preparing herself for like what to say and stuff. But anyway, she's finally like, Are you Diana? And I'm like, Yes, like finally, and I hug her and it was like such amazing person. There there were three girls, two of them are watching my videos, the, the third one like just kind of were with them. Anyway, I had the amazing time with you guys, like if you're watching this video, she was like literally telling me how much she loves me and how like she's my number one fan. She's like literally fangirling me and it was so amazing like seeing you guys in real life you guys need to understand that when i'm filming usually you guys only see me like i don't know what my audience look like i don't know none of that so for you guys to actually say hi to me in real life it's so amazing and honestly like i would never be rude or anything like you guys never need to be um having second thoughts about saying hi to me like it's so simple just saying hi to me like you literally are making my day so next time you see me say hi to me and these girls anyway i'm gonna try and insert a picture of when i saw them because we were taking pictures and stuff they were so so lovely and i just lately guys i love my life so much like this whole love attraction thing is like really really making me love my life fair enough i'm only showing you guys the good parts of the law of attraction but like it can also be very bad like one thing i've noticed is 
it's put me in such positive vibe that whenever I do have a bad day, it breaks me down knowing, like, like kind of not being able to um, change my energy. Like, do you know how the law of attraction tells you to change your thoughts to positive ones and have an amazing time and, like, like the law of attraction is going to give you good things if you have good thoughts and stuff like fair enough yeah it works 90 percent of the time but like i'm human as well even though i practice this to every single like parts of my life sometimes the negativity takes over like i can't change everything to be positive in my life that's what you guys need to understand as well like the law of attraction fair enough it's amazing but like sometimes you can't it's it's i would say impossible and that is the bad part because knowing how how big of an influence it does your thoughts you're gonna be much more upset knowing you can't change it so yeah it's it's i'm practicing it i'm not perfect yet you guys i'm trying but sometimes love attraction um sometimes i can't do it sometimes it's too hard for me sometimes life takes over negativity takes over other people take over my energy which is i'm on my way i'm gonna get there but i'm not there yet and it's a long way you guys do you guys know that i'm going to mm, i said this in my swedish video but i never mentioned it in english and i know you guys didn't understand it i'm going to brazil in 13 days you guys less than two weeks it is so crazy because like i've never been in that part of the the earth in general like i've never been there um so we're going for two weeks with my family to visit my cousins actually i have cousins living in brazil from my mom's side and they've been living there for like all their life but we've never gone there because it's like so far and so expensive to go there but like Two months ago, my mom was like, do you know what? She's like, we're going to Brazil. And I was like, what? So we got tickets. And it's just so weird because I don't know what to expect. I know a lot of my people watching my videos are from Brazil or have been in Brazil. So we're going to um, Rio as well as Sao Paulo. So for New Year's, that's where I'm going to celebrate New Year's. And I'm so excited. Like, obviously, I don't know what to expect. Like, I've never been there. Like, last time I saw my cousins were, like, probably when I was seven. So, like, I don't know what to expect from them as well. Like, are we going to click? Are we not? Like, obviously, we are. It's family and stuff. But, like, it's weird, isn't it, guys? Like, it's, like, I don't know. And I'm so excited because it's, like, hot there. And I'm going to be tanning. I'm, I'm actually excited. For concealer, you guys, I'm going to go in with the Huda Beauty um, concealer. When I tell you this shit is the bomb. No, guys. I'm, like, I have actually replaced this to my NARS one. Can you believe it? Because I can't. Like, it's so, so bomb. Like, a little bit goes a long way. It's got the best coverage. Yet, like, because I'm so much against, like, too much makeup. And when I tell you this one does the job without looking cakey. Mm, it's so bomb it's so well uh, my shade is uh cookie dough and it works amazing like it's a bit light but i like that because it kind of highlights under my eyes it's so bomb the way you guys as you know i'm working at joe and the juice i'm doing part-time at joe and the juice the reason to why i started there was because i was working so much from home like you guys already heard this but basically i wanted to get a job outside of the house so and i love john juice like from london the vibes are insane but what i didn't realize is sweden isn't london like you won't be getting the same out of london and sweden so now that i've been working at john juice sweden for two months i just realized nope it's not for me like honestly you guys like when i tell you it's like hi what would you like to order it's like working at mcdonald's that's not what i signed up for join the juice the reason to why i signed up to join the juice sweden was because i love the vibes i love the type of personalities working for them like we're all the same we got style it's like tattoos everywhere people have humor we got together partying and stuff but like sweden is different guys like we can take for example like a shift in london everyone would help each other with their shifts like you don't want to work tomorrow you're sick tomorrow i take your shift bro like it's fine but like in sweden everyone's so selfish and like 
they, no, no one would do that for another person like say if i'm sick i would try to contact every single person working at joe and nobody would want to take my pa uh, my shift so i sent an email this morning to my boss saying that i want to quit and so what's gonna happen is after after new year's when i come back to sweden it's gonna be like 10th of january um i'm not gonna be going back to that place because it's so toxic you guys like they can literally put me on like 10 hour shift without having a break like that's not human do you want the juice like it's just not in sweden it's so crap like i actually don't like it so and my boyfriend was like if there is anything in life diana that brings down your energy level like because he's obviously so into like the law of attraction and energies and meditating and stuff like that as well he's told me from day one when i started that joe he was like if joe dana ever brings down your level energy energy level then he was like you need to quit like because you're at a, such a peaceful place in your life but like you're up here right if there is something that brings you down just the, just the tiniest bit you shouldn't be doing it because you've worked so hard to get yourself up there that nobody or nothing deserves to take over that amazing energy do you guys know what i mean he's also right like guys come on if i know i worked so hard on myself to get myself up there and to be in such peace with myself then i also know that nothing deserves to bring that down it's simple guys as no i love to talk about the law of attraction and like give you guys tips on how to think and stuff but like for the reason that i've been like i need to kind of get back into myself like chatting about random shit as well like fair enough we love the law of attraction like we live for the law of attraction but like would you guys not want to like listen to like boy chats and like me talking about my boyfriend and like for you guys to listen and give you tips and tricks on how to deal with situations like muslim parents and stuff like this that's so interesting as well so like um i'm gonna get back into that hey guys for my highlight today i'm gonna use oh darling by mac it's been such a long time can you guys see my makeup is so nice today I look like I'm blushing and I got light eyes. It's cute. I love it. I love my makeup, guys. Today is bomb. I love it. We're kind of done, you guys. Um. Oh, lips. Oh my gosh, how could I forget about that? I'm gonna grab spice from MAC and line my lips. My boyfriend got me um, studio lights, right? So they're right behind me. I think you can see they're super bright. Anyway, I got studio lights, right? So if I can show you, you can literally hide it so much and like put it on red lights or like cold lights as you guys can see like i fully look like i'm in a studio right now like look but that is not what i wanted to talk about like i love it don't get me wrong but like the amount of headache it gives me like well are you guys i'm not joking i feel like i i need to go and be sick for like a week now like i yes i filmed with my studio lights but like i need to be sick for a whole week now which like can you guys tell me why that is like there must be something in the uv lights like because even my friend helen she came to me the other day and she was like oh my god i got such a headache she was like it needs to be from the lamp like oh, it's crazy but anyway you guys please if you know any anything about studio lights giving you headaches and shit let me know because like i'm not joking it makes me dizzy um, for my low lash line guys, I'm only gonna put mascara because I like this lightweight look like I don't it's already so much that I don't want it to be like Even heavier I know actually one last thing I want to do and that is to put a light eyeshadow into my Inner corners and oh my gosh for that. I love to use the Nectar from from the same palette. It's called Nectar. I love to just kind of put a little bit of this like down here can you guys see? It makes such a big difference. Yes. And I'm done, you guys. 
This, you guys, is my makeup look. It's like super bronzy, very, very Christmas, New Year's appropriate. You can change the lips to like a red lip if you want to go for like that glam glam. But like, I'm going to keep it like this. The curly hair is popping. Can you guys see? Oh, I love short, um, healthy hair. It's actually the best. So, you guys, thank you so much for watching and sticking around. Um... If you guys are not following me on my Instagram, please make sure to do so. My Snapchat and Tumblr, SoundCloud, all of that will be in the information box. Um, I love you guys to bits. If there is anything you're wondering, don't hesitate. Leave a comment. I love you, love you, love you. Bye.